Before I begin, it's pretty much impossible to do this review using gameplay footage and not have some spoilers. So if you don't want to see the solution to many puzzles, I'll give you the 10 second cliff notes. This is a really well done point and click adventure with incredible artwork and a really cool style. And there are lots of robots. This is Machinarium for the PC. Developed by Amanita Design, the makers of the web game Samarost, another point and click adventure with an interesting surrealist style, Machinarium takes place in a land inhabited only by robots. You are one such robot, Joseph, and you've been thrown out with the trash. You're not given much more to go off of than that at first, but mystery and the unknown in Machinarium is one of the things that I really like. Little by little, the story unfolds and keeps you wanting to solve the next puzzle to see what happens next and who you'll meet in this strange robotic world. Machinarium functions like most point-and-click games. Find and interact with objects, explore, and so on. There are a couple of unique things, like Joseph's ability to stretch and shrink in order to reach certain places. The other thing is a bit of a departure from similar games. You can only interact with things that are within your reach, which makes sense in a way, but does make for a bit more walking around as you try and figure out what to do next. The game also offers two different hint systems. One is a clue for each area giving you an idea of the solution, but not typically the steps in order to accomplish that. If you're really stuck on a part, there is actually an in-game walkthrough, but you don't get it for nothing. You have to play a little mini-game in order to get the info. Throughout your adventure, you'll find more traditional puzzles too. This is usually the part that takes the most time to figure out myself, but does change things up a bit. So that's the game's mechanics, decent for the most part, but that's not really where this title shines. It's definitely in its presentation. Each area is an incredibly detailed picture and further draws you into the world. Machinarium is as much a piece of art as it is a game. Even the way the game is presented to you, not a single word of dialogue is spoken, and besides a few tutorial sentences at the beginning, nothing is written. Instead, you get little thought bubble sketch animations, revealing backstory and explaining things to our hero. I think it's really interesting, and adds to its uniqueness and the whole surreal experience. The music is also really well done, the sound and visuals make for quite an aesthetic adventure, and I like that in a game when it's genuine. You can make a person look as real as you want and have a full orchestral score, and that's great and all, but I really enjoy games that try something different and pull it off well. Luckily for all of you, if you want to give Machinarium a try, you've got a few options. It's available on Windows, Mac, even Linux, the PlayStation Network, iPad 2, Blackberry Playbook, and Android devices. I'm playing it on PC, which actually runs off the Adobe Flash Engine. Now I have encountered some problems with this, and this is one of my few complaints for the game. Unfortunately, it's kind of a big one. Sometimes I'll load the game, and all my save files are gone. Aside from that, Machinarium is an incredible artistic indie game, and certainly one of the best I've played for under $10. Yeah.